Welcome to DIY RVing Home Camper's Life. My name's Greg. Just got done doing some work in the pantry of our Coleman Lantern 202RD. Now, for almost all of us, there's a few exceptions, space is a commodity in our RVs. Any space that's not used is wasted. So, in the past, I've actually removed this. Now, some of the 202RDs come with this already removed, but I took that out and I increase that area right there above the microwave i blew that out made that more usable and as you can see some panels are removed from the shelves up here it actually makes it easier for us to get to stuff now the pantry we always had just a few shelves we had one two three shelves in it and that was it last year i went ahead and added a shelf up top you know, small space, we throw stuff up there. So we increase the space right there. We still have ample uh, height right here in this shelf. And then you see we have a couple more. And then right down here is actually the new shelf I just got done doing. This used to be completely covered. And what was behind it, well, you can't see it anymore, but that's where the cord for our trailer was. Now, in one of my uh, earlier projects this uh, past winter, I went ahead and removed uh, the cord and put a plug on the outside of the trailer so I could plug an extension cord into it to run that. There's links right here to the um, RV upgrade on our electrical system series that we just got done doing. So without further ado, let's jump in, let's get this done. Now, I wasn't able to film all of it just because of the cramped quarters that I'm working in. I didn't do any of the cut work or anything like that. Uh, just did some stuff down below so hopefully this will help you out uh, get you in the right direction uh, inspire you whatever and if it does please hit the like button subscribe and share the video now without further ado let's jump into it so what used to be down here is the cord for the RV you see we've taken that out we've put a exterior outlet on the RV so we can plug in there We've also added an automatic transfer switch, uh, some solar controllers. We took this shelf, which was already in the trailer, and we actually moved it down so that all this can be housed on there. Now we're gonna put a shelf right here so we can utilize this space right here. We're gonna have to build a small wall in the back so we're not bumping into that cable back there. But the first thing I gotta do is go ahead and get this piece out of there. I'm going to have to build something up here so that I can uh, hide this when it's all said and done. I've got, I don't have this size trim, but I do got some little one by one. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and use to trim out up here. Now I could use some one by two from the hardware store or something like that and just try to stain it to match. But this is fairly close in color yeah it's smaller but i don't think that's really really going to affect the overall look of uh, the pantry when i'm done it'll help trim it out make it look better so i've got to do a little backtracking here i'm going to have to actually go and uh, lift up some of my uh, components so i can get my screws out i'm going to have to move this out of the way so i'm not uh destroying this down here because this is part of this piece right here so i need to get in there and i need to be able to cut back behind this uh, so it's a clean uh cut and then i could fill in what i need here with uh, a new piece so i'm gonna get that tore apart and then i'll come back to you there we go real quick and easy i just had to unbolt and i actually only really had to unbolt uh, the solar charge controller um, undo a couple screws and i can just raise it up as you see right here now i can come in and actually trim that out and you can see i have just a little bit of wire here that looks a whole lot better than what uh there's a picture of how they have stuff laid out for sure now i can come in here and slice on that what i'm going to use i'm going to use my rigid multi-tool with a uh, flush saw on it 
and I'll come in and I'll just cut the back side here and then uh, get this removed and I'll come back. You see I've got my flush trim saw head on my uh, rigid and you can see I have it at a 45. That was allows me to get all the way over to the edge on that side and make a score. And how I originally started was I actually had this pointing all the way backwards. I just rested it here and just kind of started going back and forth. And that gave me a score and I, uh, I'll see if I can't get you a picture of it. It'll be difficult, but see if you can see that. I still got to finish it off. If it didn't come out, you won't see it. <laughs> How's that? But now I got to go ahead and turn this the opposite direction, finish it off, and then I'm just going to kind of work on trying to get it. Uh, might use the utility knife, finish scoring it, try to get it through, and then pop it off. That way, we're not again damaging this piece down here. Got the bottom kind of scored out. So now I can start working on it. What I'm going to do here is, as you see, I've started to pop it here. And this I don't mind. I can go ahead and pop that down. And as you get rid of part of it. And then we just take this one and slowly work our way down. And there we go. Came out really good. We are below the edge, so I will be able to do something there. I've got some uh, staples. I should be able to shoot into that. Or uh, I might even, I don't know yet. I'll see what I'm going to do. But uh, when I figure it out, he'll be the first to know. Okay, so my idea for uh, backing right down here when we put the paneling back in here is I'm going to get a piece of either some of this paneling and just raise it up just a little bit to where I can, where there's a backer for it right there. And then I'll run staples across the back side here and I could even put a little bit of glue on it to help get it to stick. All right new course of direction originally i was going to put something back here and then have paneling slip in between the edge and then do some stapling on the sides to make it look real nice and everything like that but then i realized something this is an area that i'm going to have to access every now and then so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put a piece of backer right here i'm going to slightly trim this down because this thing is pretty tight in there i'm going to take a 64th off make it a little bit easier of fit and then i will put another piece right up here in the area where the bottom of the shelf is going to be and then i will be able to screw this panel right in place to cover it because i am going to be you know losing that much and then i'll have my shelf and this will be all the useful stuff that's the direction I'm going. So, uh, I'm going to get some figured stuff measured out and figured out. And then I'll come back with you and uh, give you some more updates. Now, so far, what I've gotten is I'm going to cut that paneling right there that's on the floor to 7 inches. 7 inches high. And then I'll shave just a little bit off so it fits in there easier. I've got a couple pieces of one by. Um, then I'm going to be adding right here and then one piece right over here. Uh, that one actually is going to need to be, uh, wider than that. So I need one, one piece, one by, uh, let's see. Oh, inch and a half at least. By two inches that'd be the bottom and I want two each of those two two and two so there's one 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 
I've got two pieces of one by uh, shelf support by 20 inches. That's going to run on either side. The shelf is going to be 20 inches deep, 11 and three quarters wide. Then we'll figure out the wall on the back once we get all that done. So that's where we're at. Well, took a break last night and uh, did some thinking. And this morning I decided I'm going to change up how the shelf is. Before, there's a picture right here where you see that this rail right here, where you see the rails are on top of the shelf versus underneath the shelf to support it. So I went ahead and pulled those out. I actually put a notch at the very front so that I could pull my wires out and there was already a notch at the back. And pulled those braces off and then went ahead and I'm remounting them. And the way I'm doing that is I have a storyboard is what I call it, set to the height that I want the shelf to be at. So I've set it there, put the screw in, moved it back, did the same thing. I'll come back over here on this side, do the same thing. Then when I put that shelf back in, it'll be level. I'll put a couple screws in it to hold it down, put everything back on it. And then we'll continue with the upgrade modification of our pantry. Sorry about the heater going, uh, trying to get this place warmed up. Uh, but wanted to bring you back, got the shelf cut in position as we can see right there this is the trim for the front piece so it'll be trimmed out like that i do have to do a little notch over here so i can uh recess or excuse me so i can pull the shelf forward so it's flush so again i've got that piece right there i've got another one to go up top this one is going to be attached to the shelf just like that that way if i do have to access anything down here i can just remove this this piece comes out and there's nothing in my way to get down here um, i'll go ahead and figure out uh, the exact height on this make some what i call storyboards again and so i can mount this time i'll take the storyboard i'll stick it in right like this to the bottom of the shelf and then come down because I'm not sure if this one's exactly level, but I want to be as square as possible to this one. Well, I'm back in the trailer. Got stuff cut. I've got a couple uh, rails for the shelf to ride on. Of course, they're going to be underneath. I've just got them sitting there. I did put some holes in them, pre-drilled, so I can go ahead and screw in. I've got my uh, little uh, blocks. This one actually goes on this side right here so I can uh, attach the paneling down below. Got a couple of those and then I have some that are bigger to come over on this side and do the same thing. Of course, I'll be down here. Um, of course, there's the shelf right there. This shelf is gonna be just uh, press fitted in. It's pretty tight, it's not going anywhere. You can see this one's actually fairly tight too, which is nice, I like that. Um, I've got my uh, front trim pieces cut. got the rails in a shelf support so let me see if I can't keep you rolling while I put the shelf in so there's the shelf Right there, we just got to go and put a little back wall back there just to cover that up. And we've got that piece bro. Now that we've got the rails in place, let's go ahead and take our shelf, bring it in there. Set it down. There is our shelf. Grab our board. 
And where is that trim piece? That piece right there. That'll go like that. We'll screw the board, we'll screw the shelf down in place so it doesn't move around. We'll also have this bottom piece screwed four corners. So now all we got to do is uh, figure out our back wall, how we're going to do that. Get all this stuff attached, and we will be done. Back to you in a few. I now have some extra room there. Now, of course, I've got an automatic transfer switch underneath there. I've got a solar charge controller and a uh, breaker for the solar uh, array down under here. And this is accessible just with four screws right now. I can take that off, access, make access to all that stuff. And if I need be, I can actually remove, let me get my light for you right back there i can remove three screws take that back out and then two screws will lift this shelf out and i have full access to everything underneath well i hope you enjoyed the video if you're still sticking around and you're interested and you don't have this area accessible in your 202rd right here is the link to the video for that and until next time Happy camping.